Mission Pro Wrestling fans, we are back for another 10-minute mission. We will go over the highlights of Mission Pro's latest matches in about 10 minutes. I am your host, Dr. The Wife, and in today's mission, we will take a look at Mission Pro Wrestling's Hard Day's Night, hosted at the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club of San Antonio. This was a charity event where contributions go toward the children to meet their needs as they get ready for their back to school time. Let's jump right in. For these matchups, we have the pleasure of watching Mission Pro team up with Hybrid School of Wrestling. We start off with Johnny Rocket versus Diego Rene. Two impressive fighters beloved by the crowd. This fight starts off at a fast pace with Diego and Rocket keeping each other off their feet with a few throws and tosses. Diego encourages Rocket to follow him outside the ring and executes a great 619 into Rocket. Rocket lays painful chops before transitioning into interesting top rope acrobatic tosses. Both men work hard to prove who is better as they continue exchanging chops, side slams, and roll-ups. Ultimately, with a kick to the gut and a quick lift, Diego sends Johnny rocketing to the ground, ending the match. Diego emerges the winner, sending Rocket away for repairs. Nova Phoenix emerges on fire with La Rosa Negra adding sabor to Mission Pro Ring with her entrance, getting her ref involved. Nova starts off with a shoulder tackle into La Rosa, but each time she returns and resets herself. Despite the size difference, each brings in a bit of strategy, with La Rosa Negra working on Nova's legs to get her down to the ground. Nova showing off her strong arms with killer clotheslines, she continues her assault and at one point takes a boot to La Rosa Negra's face, causing her to hang off the side of the ring with her feet caught in the ropes. These ladies give it their all to cut each other down. With a strong frog splash, La Rosa Negra snatches her win, showing San Antonio crowd how dangerous it is to mess with this rose's thorns. Team Treats returns to the Mission Pro ring, followed by Team Flamingo, who immediately starts beating down the men during their entrance. No mercy. All chaos outside the ring while the fight officially starts between Don Juan controlling the fight against James. Team treats using teamwork from the corner with Chris Marvel getting tagged in and clipping down James with his legs pulling him down to the mat. A quick tag in for Zakai does not stop Marvel whose quick awareness allowed him to toss Zakai over his shoulder into a couple of brutal slams. David Kidd and Brandon Vice tag in to get their scuffle on. David's atomic drop shocks Vice, allowing Kidd to pull off a sliding DDT. Side slam from Vice destroys Kidd's back, preparing him for Zakai's knees to the gut and moves from Hyder, who drop kicks him down. The ring explodes into a brawl after Hyder's chief shots to team treats. Team Treats returns with a fantastic four-corner team punch to each of their opponents on Flamingo Fighters, who then are catapulted all to the center for a big old headbutt. Ultimately, Texas Treats takes the win as Don Juan scores that pin that's set up by La Fashionista's knee into Hyder's back. These ladies must be mind readers because they immediately split up and gang up on Wode and Aminata. Wode gets her momentum back up and pulls off a double body slam on Mia Friday and MJ. Gigi Ray drop kick sets up Kai Vibes for a double knee drop into Aminata. All the ladies return to the center ring and start ganging up on Wode again. Diaz and MJ showing off their strengths with drops and high knees while Aminata sits with fans enjoying the view as her competitors tire themselves out. Wode eliminates a competitor and it opens it up for Gigi Ray who manages to get a win over Vibes with a blockbuster. A tower of ladies set in place by Wode is flattened with her weapon of ass destruction, giving Aminata a chance to put a boot to Wode's head to break up that tower. Both heavy hitters exchange painful hits, but Wode comes out on top using her weapons 
as she pins Aminata, earning her spot to the anniversary show at Welcome to the Jungle. Casey comes out intense and ready to fight J.J. Garrett, who, according to Waldo, has an impressive hairstyle. Garrett starts off with some tight grappling moves while Casey gets back in there on his feet and begins exchanging some painful, loud chest chops. Incredible moonsaults by Garrett catches Casey by surprise both in and outside of the ring. Revenge was Casey's when he took opportunities to really put a hurt on Garrett when he pulled his legs out from under him while Garrett stood on the steel steps. Elbow drops, backbreakers, diving cannonballs, headlocks demonstrate how brutal these men were during the fight. From a Boston Crab to his torture rack backbuster, Casey shows the crowd why he is called the broken brawler. These ladies get the fight started quickly as they grapple each other at the start. Both attempt early submission moves on each other using the ropes to keep themselves in the fight. Quick trip out of the ring and Genocide gets a quick recharge from a young painted fan. Conlin attempts to catch Genocide outside the ring with a flying boot, but Genocide is ready to catch and drop her. Back in the ring, both ladies trade offensive moves. King's sidekicks and clotheslines were not enough, though. Genocide's DDT heavy elbow shots into a huge tombstone wins her the number one contender for the Mission Pro Wrestling Championship belt. Showing her technical style, Danny B gets in a few grapples, but they are no match for Widow's expertise and flexibility. Widow blocks Danny, tackles her down, but Danny changes tactics, going for Widow's lower body. Danny keeps control for a while during the match, executing a flawless hurkarana and knees to the back. An attempt at a crossbody was stopped when Widow catches Danny and performs a fallaway slam. Several pin attempts by Widow gets her upset and she turns on the ref, pulling her hair. Danny takes the opportunity to get in a code breaker, but Black Widow still gets a quick one in as Danny loses and leaves with a nasty sting on her record, courtesy of the Black Widow. Lizzie Blair and Rache get the fight started with Rache finding out how tough Lizzie is but drop kicks and arm drags to Lizzie, followed by a quick tag in, lets Maddie take advantage of Team Bougie realness. Quick tag to Peyton sends her into the hands of a bougie makeover, followed by a designer boot to the face. Getting stuck in the wrong corner, Peyton gets run through by bougie reality. Lizzie returns, working Maddie into a corner into a bulldog to get revenge for what happened to her sister. Not wanting to be taken out by another tag team, Bougie Reality uses their charisma to distract the ref long enough for Chanel to secure her bag and run it straight through the good sister's face, allowing Maddie to get in a quick reality check to secure that win. Despite the win, Bougie Reality continues beating their opponents. Danny B comes out to break up the fight and show her disgust as they start to turn. Danny vows revenge against Bougie Reality, and Charity Kane comes out to back her up. Let's see where this goes. Accompanied by Joey Hyder and his shovel, JP emerges ready to show Mission Pro fans his greatness. Simon Miller breaks through the curtains to a roaring crowd. JP starts off with a cheap slap followed by a headlock, always finding a way to misdirect and another dirty shot was found. Simon brings JP back to the mat with some strong shoulder tackles. Outside the ring, the two wrestlers continue the match. Joey made attempts to distract Simon, but finds himself thrown to the side. JP tries to run, avoid getting hit, and attempts his signature hoop grab, but Simon pulls him right back down to earth and onto his shoulders and directly into a ring post and steel steps. The fight returns to the ring and JP wastes no time to find an opportunity to take advantage of Simon while his back is turned in the ring. Simon gets his energy back and pulverizes JP. JP tried to incorporate his shovel in the match, but Simon was quick and positioned JP and himself to ensure that that shovel attacked JP and not himself. 
a huge stop sent that handle right up into JP's legs. A spear, Falcon Arrow ends the match, giving England's own Simon Miller his first win on the Mission Pro stage against JP Harlow. All right, folks, the championship match against Holiday Challenger, Jasmine Allure. The championship match got started immediately when Jasmine delivered a crossbody onto the champ as she was making her entrance. An attempted suicide dive by Jasmine was caught by Holiday, who body slammed Jasmine right back to the ground. The fight continued outside the ring and on top of fans. Each competitor delivered painful body chops and ring post shots. Jasmine began working on Holiday's legs in an attempt to cut her down. Holiday returns with some brutal shots of her own. The fight moves to the outside edge of the ring. Jasmine ends her exchange with a harsh DDT off the mat, taking both women out. Eventually, both women return before the 10 count to continue the fight as each woman dealt painful punishments to each other. Eventually, double underhook and a tombstone secures the win for Holiday. And still... The Mission Pro Champion is Holiday. On ringside, Genocide appears and was watching her competitors to see who she would go against in the championship bout at Welcome to the Jungle, a tournament to be seen, to be believed. Following the match, Holiday announces a surprise for Welcome to the Jungle. It's going to be a casket match where both competitors can win if they shut the other one in the casket. The casket is wheeled out for all to see and everyone was sitting there in disbelief. Both competitors agree to the next match. And now for the doctor's notes. Folks, this was an incredible, unforgettable show and the finale with the caskets being wheeled out and introduced brought lots of people into a state of shock. Can you believe that? Buy your tickets today at MissionProWrestling.com and see Mission Pro Wrestling's Welcome to the Jungle coming out soon live at the Salvation Army of San Antonio and streaming on Title Match Network. You can also check this show along with many others on TitleMatchNetwork.com where you can stream any show on their catalog as they stream live or after it's been recorded. You can also follow Mission Pro Wrestling on all their socials for updates and fantastic content. Folks, share with us your match of the night in the comment section below, and don't forget to stun or kick the like and subscribe button to keep up to date with upcoming Face for Wrestling reviews and other content. Follow us on all our socials where we take you on sneak peeks and engage you in discussion about all things wrestling. We hope you enjoyed this episode. This is Dr. The Wife. See you next time on the 10-Minute Mission.